Hello, beautiful. Welcome. Welcome to a video where we talk about God, money, and our coaching businesses. How exciting, right? So as a spiritual business coach, I spend all my time working with my clients who are spiritual women coaches in any niche and Christian women coaches in any niche. And I support them to make the impact they want, make the money they want, and build the real life that they want. So I spend all my time talking about God and money. And what I've learned over the last six and a half years talking about God and money is that our relationship with money as business owners, no matter what business owner you are, what niche you're in, what industry you're in, our relationship with money is a direct reflection of our relationship with God, okay? And this is the relationship that supports us to create the business model in any industry, but I'm a coach, so it's the coaching industry I'm gonna talk about today. It supports us to create the business model that is going to honor our highest good and our client's highest good and the good that soul God is expressing through us. So if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Mimi Dabo. I'm a high ticket business coach and I support spiritual men coaches and Christian women coaches with two programs, Magnetic and Supernatural. Magnetic is a high ticket sales program to master sales and go out, sell with confidence, they create the income, impact and life that you want. And Supernatural is an 18 month program that supports you to create the business of a life that you want with all parts and elements of your life, relationship, health and body magnified and elevated to your highest level while you're making all the impact you want and all the millions you want. So God, money and coaching, that spells freedom, right? I wanted to dive into some of the BS that we tell ourselves because we think that's what being spiritual or Christian means when we're running a business where we are sharing our gifts, our magic, our woo, and our brilliance and our light with the world. The first one is this. There's, there are a lot of spiritual women coaches and Christian women coaches who believe that it is humble, it is holy, it is right, and it is virtuous to give away coaching for free. And so what they do is they spend most of their awake time giving away free coaching so that their ego, their tiny little ego can be saying, can say, oh yes, yes, I am so great. Look at how awesome I am. Look at how great I am as a coach. Hire me now so I can change your life. Here's the thing, we don't need to give coaching away for free for people to know that our programs or our tool is the obvious choice for them. That is a marketing, messaging, positioning, and sales issue. It's not an ego thing. We don't see attorneys saying, oh yeah, 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 I can demonstrate how this works, let me represent you for free in the next five cases and then I'll charge for the sixth one. Mm -mm, it doesn't work that way. The surgeon doesn't say, well, yeah, you know what? Let me do this three surgeries for free so you can see how good I am and if you ever get sick again and need surgery, the fourth one I'll charge you. No, no. Position yourself as the obvious choice. Create a YouTube video and do free training or free teaching or free workshops but don't give away the work you do for free because it diminishes the value of the work for the entire industry. It's a very, very selfish, egotistical, crappy thing to do. And I hear this thing where people say, well, it's so, it's coaching. It's not like being a lawyer or being a doctor or being a dentist or being a chiropractor. People know what you do. If you work with a business coach who supports you to create your messaging, marketing and positioning, Everyone who wants what you have will know what you do. Stop going out into the marketplace and screaming 
to everyone that you'll coach because nobody knows what that is. Succinctly tell people how you're going to make their lives better with the work that you do and that will support them to come to you. I don't have to coach anyone for free for you to know that you can make millions or impact millions if you work with me. If you believe that I'm the person to work with you and I'm positioned to support you, you will hire me to work with you. If you don't, you won't. whoop de freaking do No need. It's not virtuous to give free stuff away, whether it's your Reiki, your, your energy work, your sh whatever work you're doing. It's not virtuous to give it away for free. It diminishes the value of the entire industry and messes everyone else up. Don't be selfish. If you want to give stuff away, create a YouTube channel, do the Facebook lives. This stuff is not coaching. It's training, it's talking, it's teaching, it's, it's sharing value. It's not coaching. Coaching is a tool. We can't give that away for free. Number two, I hear people say this all the time. How can I charge for the gifts that God has given me? So, you know, high ticket is greedy because there's no way I'm going to charge a million dollars for this thing. Yeah, because we see attorneys say all the time, yeah, you know, I'm not going to get that $5 million retainer because this work is a gift and it's a skill that I've learned. So I don't want to charge for it. So you know what? Don't give me the $5 million retainer. Just let me do it for free because that makes me holy. You're right. Or the surgeon says to you, you know, me, I can, I can operate on brain aneurysms in my sleep because this is a gift from God. I'm not going to charge you for it. I'm just going to charge you $500 for it. Not the $2.5 million that this work is worth to me and to you. No. Everything in the world, the water that we drink is a gift from God. Do you buy water in the store? The oil in the ground is a gift from God. Do you pay for gas? Hmm. They're all gifts from God. So why are you paying so much money for stuff? That's a gift from God. Well, how is that different from your coaching? That's actually going to transform a life, a health, a relationship, a body, a business, a career, a relationship, whatever. God wants us to live an abundant, bountiful life that is overflowing so that we can give from our overflow and be a blessing from our overflow. When we don't create a business model that sustains that, that supports what soul desires for us, we're screwing ourselves and the entire industry and we think we're being spiritual. No. The third thing is, it's time to start doing the spiritual work first. So I see this a lot because I did this too in the first year of my coaching business where I was, I'm a spiritual being. I love Jesus, all of the things, but that only happens in church from 10 to 11 on Sunday. The rest of the week, I'm focused on my business and all the things. And I separate the two. Here's the thing. When we're not being fully grounded in our spirituality because we don't want to mix spiritual and business like it's separate, it's not separate, it's the same thing. We decide that we're going to create this persona that does the business and there's this person who's a spiritual person. It's one and the same. When you're being, you can't have a distinction. It's who you're being. It's not a doing thing. It's not a badge of honor. It's not an ego thing. It's just who we are. It's who you are. Your spiritual being, period. Okay? So when you do that, when you're being a spiritual person, you don't need to go chasing another strategy system or funnel first. You do the spiritual work first or consider, you don't have to, consider doing the spiritual work first because guess what? The how-to manual is already integrated into who we're being. It's already integrated. And how we are being and who we are being is what supports us to create the business model that creates the impact and income we want in the world. What does that mean? It means when you first do the spiritual work, whether it's praying or meditating or dancing or singing or chanting, whatever it is that 
you say is the thing that you do to be spiritual, it opens you up to infinite possibilities because it invites in divine intuition, God's wisdom, and infinite guidance. And from that place, you get to see clearly what is actually in front of you. You get to be less focused on the best strategy and you come into a place of harmony and alignment. And when you have alignment and harmony in your business, you know what coach to work with or which coach to work with. You know what strategy is going to work for you. You are divinely matched, divinely matched, supernaturally matched with the strategy, the coach, the system, the funnel, whatever it is that's going to be your thing. The clients are magnetized to you because you already have the grounding, the groundwork, the foundation has already been laid. So these are the three things I want to touch on because as we get close to the end of the year, I hear people saying, oh, I'm going to set my goal for this, set my goal for that. But if you're looking at it as backwards, you're going to create more stress, more drama, more challenges in your life. And ego is going to show up and say, yes, you're working so hard. Yes, it's so painful. You can reward yourself with that $500 coaching offer. And I'm saying to you, I'm challenging you to say, there are many business models. But consider implementing one that supports you to actually create the income and freedom in the least amount of time with the least amount of work and the highest amount of quality for you and your clients. What is the highest level that you can create in your life in the next 12 months? What would spiritual integration look like for you in your coaching business? And how does your relationship with money reflect your true, your true relationship with God, not the one you talk about on YouTube. It's been good having you.